Well, as students get ready to head back into the classroom, Johns Hopkins doctors are too. They go in to help with science lessons and be a source of inspiration. But it hasn't just worked for students. As WMER2 News' Abby Isaac shows us tonight, their work is having an impact on the next generation of doctors. With the next school year approaching quickly, classrooms will soon be full of students eager to learn, not just from teachers, but from esteemed doctors at Johns Hopkins. I love it. Evenly distributed. Yeah. They visit schools, rec centers, and faith-based organizations to promote health and wellness beyond the confines of the hospital. I want the hospital and healthcare system to feel like they belong in the community. I want the community to see them that they belong here too. You guys officially know everything about the lungs. Through medicine for the greater good, doctors like Panagi Scalia Satos teach about a variety of topics, including lung health, vaping, and COVID-19, with the goal of fostering partnerships and just maybe inspiring a few of the students to consider healthcare as a future career. A big goal is to see more individuals like us, you know, son of immigrants from Baltimore City, making it into science as a physician. The proximity of being with these kids, a hope is, can they become like us as they get older and become like us because they met people like us. While that impact will take just a few more years to see, Dr. G has already helped shape the next generation of doctors. Olivia Vera was in her second year of teaching middle school science in South Baltimore when Dr. G first came to speak to her class. I met Dr. G not only when I was kind of needing things for my students, but I think I really needed things professionally myself. She slipped into their conversation that she was torn between teaching and going to med school, and Dr. G became a huge source of motivation. As Dr. G showed me, like, I don't actually really have to choose. Um, I can be in the clinic. Um, working with my patients, and I can also engage community on a broader scale and in a more preventive manner. It was a hard choice to leave the classroom, especially with a teacher shortage, but she helped find her replacement and is now studying at the Emory University School of Medicine. She isn't sure what specialization yet, but she wants to leave a mark, just like Dr. G. While I miss my students so much and, I, and I'm fortunate to still have connections with them and to be able to reach out to them, like I know that this is what it looks like for me to do right by them, doing what I think I can be best at. Dr. G hosts community conference calls every Friday. If you'd like to ask a health related question or get connected in Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.